In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. Brethren, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. Keep your family safe, O Lord, with unfailing care. They're relying solely on the hope of heavenly grace. They may be defended always by your protection. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. And on the earth, let the birds fly beneath the dome of the sky. And so it happened. God created the great sea monsters and all kinds of swimming creatures with which the water teems and all kinds of winged birds. God saw how good it was, and God blessed them, saying, Be fertile, multiply, and fill the waters of the seas and let the birds multiply on the earth. Evening came, and morning followed, the fifth day. Then God said, let the earth bring forth all kinds of living creatures, cattle, creeping things, and wild animals of all kinds. And so it happened. God made all kinds of wild animals, all kinds of cattle, and all kinds of creeping things in the earth. God saw how good it was. Then God said, let us make man in our image, after our likeness. Let them have dominion over the fish of the sea, the birds of the air, and the cattle, and over all the wild animals, and all the creatures that crawl on the ground. God created man in his image. In the divine image he created him, male, and female, he created them. God blessed them, saying, Be fertile and multiply. Fill the earth and subdue it. Have dominion over the fish, the sea, the birds of the air, and all the living things that move on the earth. God also said, See, I give you every seed-bearing plant all over the earth, and every tree that has seed-bearing fruit on it, for your food, and to all the animals of the land, and all the birds of the air, and all the living creatures that crawl on the ground. I give all the green plants for food. And so it happened. God looked at everything he had made, and he found it very good. Evening came, and morning followed, the sixth day. Thus the heavens and the earth and all their array were complete. Since on the seventh day God had finished with the work he had been doing, he rested on the seventh day from all the work he had undertaken. So God blessed the seventh day and made it holy, because on it he rested from all the work he had done in creation. Such is the story of the heavens and the earth and their creation. The word of the Lord. O oh Lord, our God, how wonderful your name in all the earth. When I behold your heavens, the work of your fingers, the moon and the stars which you set in place, what is man that you should be mindful of him, or the son of man? that you should care for them. Oh, Lord, 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 Lord. 
You have made him little less than the angels and crowned him with glory and honor. You have given him rule over the works of your hands, putting all things under his feet. All sheep and oxen, yes, and the beasts of the field, the birds of the air, fishes of the sea, and whatever swims the paths of the seas. Uh, 
uh, to bring the joy of the gospel to others, uh, the starting point can't be uh, that someone else is filthy or gross or impure or disgusting. Uh, that's not that's not what we're made for, and that's not what they're made for. Um, we see the this you know, exhibited best in the uh, you know the, when Christ talks to the Pharisees here, and he's telling them you know they would they would disregard the care they're supposed to have, never mind for strangers, even for their own family. Uh, they disregard that and then then justify it by saying, oh look at how religious I am, look at how pious I am. No, no. Uh, those aren't mutually exclusive, and those aren't in opposition. Uh, so everyone in our family, the strangers we meet in the market, these people that we're, we're called uh, to witness God to, uh, are not made impure or made filthy, but, but are made in God's image. Uh, and any impurities, any sins, is in fact the opposite of what they were made for, just as, as with ourselves. Uh, those bad things within us, those vices and those sins we have, uh, that don't reflect God's image and likeness uh, are not who we were made to be. Um, so today, then we just uh, perhaps pray that the, the words of the psalmist, that the, the Alleluia there of David, uh, incline my heart to your decrees and favor me with your laws. That really takes grace, I think, to, to defeat those, those bad tendencies that we might have coming into contact with other people into contact with family members, we need to contact with ourselves, and so we just pray uh, for the grace of God to incline our heart, to incline our desires, uh, to see his, his image in everyone that we need.
Pray, brethren, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. O Lord, our God, who once established these created things to sustain us in our frailty, grant, we pray, that they may become for us now the sacrament of eternal life. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right to give you thanks, truly just to give you glory, Father most holy. For you are the one God, living and true, existing before all ages, and abiding for all eternity, dwelling in unapproachable light. Yet you, who alone are good, the source of life, have made all that is, so that you might fill your creatures with blessings and bring joy to many of them by the glory of your light. And so in your presence are countless hosts of angels who serve you day and night, and gazing upon the glory of your face, glorify you without ceasing. With them, we too confess your name and exaltation, giving voice to every creature under heaven, as we acclaim, Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. We give you praise, Father most holy, for you are great, and you have fashioned all your works in wisdom and in love. You formed man in your own image and entrusted the whole world to his care, so that in serving you alone, the Creator, he might have dominion over all creatures. And when through disobedience he had lost your friendship, you did not abandon him to the domain of death. For you came in mercy to the aid of all, so that those who seek might find you. Time and again, you offered them covenants, and through the prophets, taught them to look forward to salvation. And you so loved the world, Father most holy, that in the fullness of time, you sent your only begotten Son to be our Savior. Made incarnate by the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin Mary, he shared our human nature in all things but sin. To the poor he proclaimed the good news of salvation, to prisoners freedom, and to the sorrowful of heart joy. To accomplish your plan, he gave himself up to death, and rising from the dead, he destroyed death and restored life. And that we might live no longer for ourselves, but for him who died and rose again for us. He sent the Holy Spirit from you, Father, as the first fruits for those who believe, so that bringing to perfection his work in the world, he might sanctify creation to the full. Therefore, O Lord, we pray, may this same Holy Spirit graciously sanctify these offerings, that they may become the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ, for the celebration of this great mystery, which he himself left us as an eternal covenant. For when the hour had come for him to be glorified by you, Father most holy, having loved his own who were in the world, he loved them to the end, while they were at supper, he took bread, blessed, and broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, taking the chalice filled with the fruit of the vine, he gave thanks and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. mystery of faith, we proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, O Lord, as we now celebrate the memorial of our redemption, we remember Christ's death and his descent to the realm of the dead. We proclaim his resurrection and his ascension to your right hand. And as we await his coming in glory, we offer you his body and blood, the sacrifice acceptable to you, which brings salvation to the whole world. Look, O Lord, upon the sacrifice which you yourself have provided for your church and grant in your loving kindness to all who partake of this one bread and one chalice, that gathered into one body by the Holy Spirit, they may truly become a living sacrifice in Christ to the praise of your glory. 
Therefore, Lord, remember now all for whom we offer this sacrifice, especially your servant Francis, our Pope, John, our Bishop, and the whole order of bishops, all the clergy, those who take part in this offering, those gathered here before you, your entire people, and all who seek you with a sincere heart. Remember also those who have died in the peace of your Christ and all the dead whose faith you alone have known. To all of us, your children, grant, O merciful Father, that we may enter into a heavenly inheritance with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, and with your apostles and saints in your kingdom. There, with the whole of creation, freed from the corruption of sin and death, may we glorify you through Christ our Lord, through whom you bestow on the world all that is good. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not to temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant your peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Amen. Lamb of God, Amen. you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Amen. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Amen. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed.
Let us pray. O God, who have willed that we be partakers in the one bread and the one chalice, grant us, we pray, so to live that made one in Christ, we may joyfully bear fruit for the salvation of the world. Christ our Lord. Amen. Just by way of reminder, as today's Tuesday, you're welcome to join us for the miraculous Medal Novena after Mass, uh, if, if you would like to. The Lord be with you. With your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth, the Mass is ended. Amen. Immaculate Mary, your praises we sing. Thank you. 
Without sin, pray for us. 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 Pray for us.